What's up guys? You know who it is? DJ Wu Pig. And damn it, my battery's about to die already. I just started. All right, so I hope everybody is staying safe out here during uh, Corona Panic 2019, 2020. Um, today's episode is gonna be about transportation, how you get your gear from A to B, whether it's from your warehouse, from your shop, from your home, from your mama's house, I don't care. How are you getting it from wherever you keep your gear to wherever the gig is? Now, my vehicle journey has, I started this business, I had a, uh, a 1990 Caprice station wagon. And to this day, I wish I would have never gotten rid of that vehicle. It's probably one of my favorite cars in general. I AC blue ice cold, loved it. But uh, you know, it's not probably the best business vehicle. So sold it, got a Tahoe. Tahoe worked out fantastically. And then I started making the jump from uh, DJ company to production company, you know, getting a bigger trailer and the Tahoe towing capacity just wasn't all there. Sold that, got a Ford F-250, 7.3 power, uh, power Stroke Turbo Diesel. I believe I have a video on of it on my channel. Uh, I've had that thing five or six years now. Love it, bought it cheap. Um, it didn't cost much, but it can pull a house down. Um, it is kind of older, so you know it doesn't have the creature comforts of today's modern vehicles, but fantastic truck. Uh, cost to um, uh, operational costs, to real world costs it's very cheap to operate um very you know it's it, they're expensive to work on but they last forever the oil changers are expensive but again they last forever and they can pull a house down fantastic truck i love it and then right at a year ago if you're not following me on instagram you probably should be following me because you've seen this vehicle uh many many times i bought a van I bought uh, a Ford E350 van. What's unique about this van is A, it's a dually, which you don't see very often. It allows me to tow even more weight, more weight than my actually my truck can handle. And B, it's got a lift gate on it. So it's perfect for a lot of situations where a truck and trailer doesn't make sense. Um, I can load 100 feet of truss, motors, uh, motor control, cable boxes, and still have room to spare inside of the van. Uh, and then I can tow it trailer with the van again if i needed to it's by far the most used vehicle in the fleet as of now just because it's so versatile and the good thing about the van is it gets really good gas mileage gets better gas mileage than uh, both my 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 project car my daily car and my truck uh, so if we're if we're going long distances if I'm you know buying or selling something um, and let's say it's another state over I'm taking the van it's not the most comfortable ride but when you talk about fuel savings it just it just makes sense and the van is super awesome super awesome I love it all right and here we have the infamous E350. Uh, it's so, so it's sitting on like 19.5 commercial uh, wheels and it's got commercial tires. So like these are like semi truck tires. So they're going to last 75,000 miles minimum, um, especially with the with the little, you know, little weight that I'm pulling behind this thing. So um, they're going to last a good long time and it's a, it's a super great vehicle. So let me open up. So as you can see right now, I've had like my my COVID-19 home project of putting floors down in my nursery, but I've got E-Track mounted in here. We've got like a headache rack system, so I can't have anything flop to the front and smack me in the back of the head. Uh, we got some LED lights in here. Like it's so, so all in all, it's like pretty simple. If you see over here, that's a rear AC. So if I'm on a job site and I need a break and I don't want to stay in the building, I can start the van up. You know, I, I put lawn chairs in here. If I've got like a two or three hour break, uh, turn the truck on, turn on the AC sit in here and kick it right now it is hauling a, uh, a 50k diesel generator that we're using for tomorrow's event these things are super heavy yes a 1500 truck could tow one of these but the van tows it incredibly well and uses almost no fuel is 
is of course my truck um, and it goes without saying you really can't replace a truck you can try but it's it's not replaceable a truck is super versatile if you need something tall put in the back of the bed um, if you don't have you know room to carry your truss and you know in your trailer or whatever you can put in the back of your bed where um, you can't do that necessarily with an SUV um, it's a great vehicle I, I super rec if you're gonna get anything I highly recommend a van or an SUV I don't and a car is fine if you're just looking to if you're just looking to DJ and you've got you know a couple you know, ball 50s and a controller maybe some up lights um, you know there's nothing wrong with taking your car out there but if you're looking to grow eventually you're gonna have to face the growing pains and and get a bigger vehicle and for me that next step was a uh, was a truck and a trailer which I'm actually fixing to pick up now So this is my eight and a half foot by 16 foot Spartan cargo trailer. It's awesome um, with, with the exception of having to lug it around, which is another reason why I got the van. You add a truck that already doesn't get great gas mileage, you put a trailer on there, it gets even worse gas mileage. Um, but that's the nature of the beast when owning a trailer. So in here I've got uh, top and bottom rungs of E-Track, which comes in handy, um, especially if we're, we're stacking to the ceiling for our big stuff. If it's too big, of course I wanna get a Penske rental, but for the stuff that you know will, will fit in the trailer and you don't want that extra expense, this works out great. I always generally try to keep a, uh, a box in here just full of you know random stuff so we got some extension cables some ratchet straps uh just you know kind of safety features that we need uh we've got straps of course in here we've got this board which bridges the gap between the uh, the door and the trailer itself um, and then we've got a couple load bars as well what's good blake all right we on we on day number two so I, don't, I haven't explained this video to Blake, but this video is over transportation, getting gear from point A to point B. We've talked about the van. We've talked about the truck and trailer. In your opinion, Blake's been doing gigs for a long, long time. What would be your uh, recommendation on someone who's got a mid-sized company, uh, maybe not as big as mine, maybe not as small as mine, but what would you recommend for like a good vehicle or truck and trailer option for them to start off with? Man, I'm a fan of the van, but you gotta have the lift gate. Got it. If not, I would say uh, probably a trailer over a box truck starting out, because if you don't have loading docks, then the time wasted getting things in and out of the box truck, not good. Not good. Okay, so um, on the lift gate, and my lips are white, but uh, speaking about the lift gate, um, in our live stream the other day, uh, Barr and, and Rick brought up uh, like a good point uh, they, that they said the, the lift seemed a little slow. They'd watch one of my videos and it seemed slow, but the, the caveat to that is I do a lot of this stuff by myself. Um, I don't always have someone here to help, and if you go into a venue that has a loading dock and um, you're by yourself and you've got a, a, a case full of motors, um, that lift gate is a lot faster and a lot safer than trying to pick up a case. That, how much those motors weigh? Oh man. We're talking Hundreds. probably 400 pounds at, at least. 
Don't call me. And now, uh, almost a month later, I, I shoot an outro for this video because that call was somebody from YouTube needing something very simple that they could have Googled, but instead they go find my number on the internet, call me when I'm trying to work. Anyway, so truck and trailer, van, it doesn't matter what you get. Um, I will say if you currently have a car and you... Why? And for the third time, I'm back. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up before I get another phone call. It doesn't matter what you get. Now, I will say, if you're looking to grow and expand and you're, you currently have a car or you currently you know, have a small SUV, something like a, a Ford Explorer, um, it might be in your best interest to look at getting something that can either A, tow more or B, has more room, such as, you know, like a Sprinter van has a lot of room. Uh, they're not known for their towing capabilities. I, I think a, a lot of them don't tow things. They're, they're just not built for it. Or you can get one built for towing. It just might cost you a lot of money. Um, or you can look at getting something like a, 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 a 15, you know, quarter ton truck and, and putting a trailer behind it and, and growing through that trailer until the trailer is too much. And then you look at getting, you know, something else, uh, maybe a bigger truck in the, in the, the half ton class or something like that. It doesn't matter. What I'm saying is I, um, I grew out of my car quickly stepped up to a Tahoe grew out of that quickly got a trailer then grew out of both the truck or the Tahoe and the trailer and then that's when I got the uh, the F-250 and now I've got a 16 foot trailer um, I've pulled a, a 26 foot trailer with my F-250 with no problem um, it's really kind of whatever works best for you uh, I will say this is one of those pieces that's going to cost you more than you know let's say a, a set of speakers or mains or whatever so take into account the, gr the growth factor because the growth factor is is, is really um, is really what you you're planning for anyway uh, that's gonna be it for today's video guys if you got any questions comments leave them down in the comment section below also let us know what you're towing with uh, down in the comments too if you have something that works really well uh, really well like a crossover or uh, a truck or trailer whatever your setup is let the people know down in the comments below and let them know how it works for you and what stage of business you're in as well so that's gonna be it for today's uh, video guys I am super excited if nothing else uh, uh, today I get a haircut and that's all I need to show you until next time guys DJ Wu Pig we'll see you later Bye.